everybody welcome back to my channel holy moly it's been like a year almost let's be real things have been happening i say that all the time but i finally addressed it if you don't follow me on my social media platforms i definitely suggest so because i'm definitely more updated on there and i will definitely let you know what's happening with me also i'm on tiktok so you should go follow me you know what i mean just kidding okay Let's get to what the video is really about. Long awaited haul. Let's be real. It's been a while. And yes, I know you see that it says Sephora. And I know you see that it says San Francisco. So um, this is literally me in a bag. L literally me in a bag. So I did get this um, tote bag. I ordered it online. Doesn't say the price on here, but I want to say it's roughly 20 bucks, maybe a little bit less. I did get the matching makeup bag with it too, and this is roughly around 12 bucks or less, I forget. But I wanted to support Sephora and this whole collaboration that they have with like major cities. Love that, super cute. And I wanted a representation of moi. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start off with stuff that I got during the like, there was a sale going on, I believe it was like Memorial Day sale, and this is how you know I'm overdue with um, videos because I forgot even what sale this was it was back in february um huda beauty palettes the like obsession palettes the little mini ones were on sale for like 18 dollars so i had to go and snatch them up i got the khaki haze and the pastel mint is there a shock as to why i got these shades no can we tell what my favorite color is i'll give you a i'll give you some time but check out how beautiful these mint colors are i cannot wait to use them during easter i mean it's also saint patrick's day coming up soon so there's gonna be a lot of greens that i'm gonna be using i mean i'm already ahead of the game here and then oh the khaki one from huda beauty as well i also decided to get my first pair of <laughs> lily lashes a collaboration with sephora these are the ever so famous Miami lashes. Let's get you a little zoom in there. But pretty much, these are my first Lily lashes. So we'll see. We'll see if I like them. We'll see if I'll splurge on them. But they were 40% off at Sephora at the time. So hello. I also got one of, not even one. I got two of my favorite foundations. I rarely buy foundations, y'all. I literally, I will not. Um, but definitely, it looks like I repurchased some of my staples actually the hourglass vanish foundation this is probably my third one but in a different shade i purchased the one in sand just to see if this is my shade we'll see i think i might have gotten golden nude before i don't know well, let's see this is uh the smashbox studio skin full coverage 24 hour foundation the box looks like this very affordable price even when it's not on sale um i got the color 2.22 i believe i have like a 2.4 or something like that and that one's a little deep for me so i went with a lighter shade still in that olive complexion which is why i love this foundation it has olive undertones thank you foundation gods All right i did some shopping online because one of my uh, favorite hair care brands is finally with Sephora. I'll get to that later. But if, again, you follow me on social media, you definitely know I was stoked about it. I hyped it up. I was on the toilet when I found out. So I like literally filmed myself on the toilet to make that news come out. As I was ordering those other products that I will talk about later, I did want to check out some other new things, newness that it was at Sephora. This is the Jouer Cosmetics Essential Hydrating Matte Balm. So a lot of brands have been coming out with matte balms lately and I'm kind of curious. Um, Jouer is actually one of my favorite brands in regards to lip care products, but check out this packaging. I think that's really why I got it. Jouer never fails to like surprise me. I used to purchase Jouer products of course, um, during those like makeup events, a lot of you see a lot of my Ipsy videos on here and that's where uh, Jouer was actually introduced to me. I'm so sad, you know, that there isn't any <laughs> conventions right now, obviously for our safety, but I definitely can't wait till that comes back to normalcy. Normalcy? Grabbed some of my favorite skincare products. Actually, this is a new one. This is the Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Enzyme Foam Cleanser. It's the cleanser in this Sika Pear line. And 
again, if you follow me on social media, you will know, if I can even open this, you will know that this is one of my favorite like skincare lines, especially for like stressed out skin, redness. And you will see the next product I'm about to show you is definitely a TikTok buy. I've had this a couple times already in the past. And to be very honest, like it works wonders, but I never raved about it. And let's be real, I was like, I need to buy this before TikTok sells it out again. So I bought it because I'm like, crap, TikTok people, stop it. Let's be real, I'm on TikTok, so I'm definitely gonna be that person to buy things now because TikTok made me do it. But I've been using this for quite some time. I've always had like little samples of them. I kept forgetting like how freaking good this is. If you have normal to like oily skin, even dry skin, I would just, again, if you have dry skin, I would definitely moisturize with something else and then put this on top. But this is amazing. Literally your redness. It's like one, one little doubt, okay? One little doubt will get you to like nice skin. You don't even need foundation, but I need like full coverage, so you don't need foundation, but this is really great. As I'm rambling about all the other products, there is a line that I purchased that I cannot, cannot go without talking about. Orbe, Oribe, however you say it, finally made its way into Sephora. If you have been with me through the beginning of time, even like in the past like five years in my like makeup beauty journey, you will know that I have been praying to the beauty gods for this to come into Sephora. And finally, finally, it has come to Sephora. And to be very honest, this is the first time that I've purchased Orbe products full freaking size. Yeah, I splurged but it was a good super shine moisturizing cream. I've used this, I've abused it. I've only bought again, like the travel size. My hair, my face, my body. She's bougie, she's luxurious. I will treat my body, my hair, my soul, my mind, my face with good products. This, you guys, if you have damaged dry ass hair, this is for you. Again, this is the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. Love this. I use this in my damp hair after I shower. Damp hair, like I mentioned. Uh, amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Orbe is pretty pricey. It's up there with a lot of high-end hair care products. But again, super worth it to me. This I'm currently using. It is in my shower right now. I have been holding on to it again for the past three to four years. Again, travel size because I did not want to live without it. And now I can just use it and use it because I got the full size. It's the detangling primer run through. It's basically called the run through detangling primer. You guys, this makes my hair so soft, so easy to brush through. Do you see this mane? My hair, it has its days. Like literally it has its days. It chooses when to be like untamable it chooses when to go straight it chooses when to do this like it i don't know see my style right now this is the perfect product for it this is the first time i'm purchasing this this is the wave and shine spray from orbe and can we just talk about the packaging you guys it obviously it's kind of like from the same like line it looks like it's probably their shine line they have so many hair care products for different hair types hair textures there's like so much detail to the packaging that I'm like, okay, this is why I paid. This is why I bought it and paid for it, this price. But I cannot wait to use this. I can't wait to smell it. I can't smell it right now, but you know your girl's gonna be using all this stuff sparingly, right? She's gonna probably have these products for like four years. That is pretty much it for my Sephora haul. Whether it was like on a sale, I bought a full price, I was just on a binge splurge, or I just needed stuff. Like I. It's been a while since I hauled some things um, because I've been hauling plants. Again, I cannot emphasize enough. If you follow me on all my social media platforms, you would know what I've been doing. So do that. I will see you in my next video, whatever video that may be. Hopefully it's in the next week or so and not like another year. Hold me accountable, friends. Hold me accountable. Bye, guys.